Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. I got a question that came in from one of the viewers that asked, as a generator, what does it mean to be a builder? I mean, do I have to build houses? What, what's involved with that? I don't understand. Okay, generators, if you're going to succeed, the first thing that you absolutely have to have is a response a rising of the energy towards something. This is vital. It's not a, uh-huh, you know, maybe. It's a, hmm, you know, it's an energy that rises through you and brings you into action. So when generators get stuck, which is a lot of the time, they get stuck because they're involved in work they do not love. You've got to love it. Now, if you're working for a company that you're just working for money, what are you going to do? You're going to plod on and on and on and just in survival mode. And that happens a, a great deal, you know, trying to move up the ladder within the company. But if you don't love the work, what are you doing with your energy? You're going against your response to stay in a job that, yes, it, it brings you survival money, but it gives you a low quality of life because your heart isn't in it. But if, you're, if your energy isn't involved in what you're doing, if it doesn't want to get up in the morning with like, OK, what's next? Then it's not really going to work. The whole life will be suppressed. So the first thing is the response. Now, when it comes to building, what do we do? We go to the I Ching and we have a look and we go, well, what can help us here? And I'm going to concentrate on gate 53 and the, the first line of gate 53, because it's very important. Gate 53 is in the root. It's not part of the sacral, but it is part of the starting mechanism. The root is this pressure that must do something. It's tied to the adrenal glands. You know, it's an emergency energy. And when you're starting something, when your heart is really wanting to do something, when you're loving the idea of, of something that you can do with your energy that you want to keep on doing, how to begin. And to how to begin, we go to the 53rd gate because this, this is the pressure to begin a new cycle. Pressure to begin a new project. Pressure to actually get going with something. Now, not everyone has that. I don't have that in me. But the principle remains the same. And this is the principle. It's in the line of accumulation. The dissolution of old forms, but not at the expense of valued components that will be retained and transformed. The pressure to begin something new, not from scratch, but based on the foundations of the old. And the detriment is development hampered by criticism and the tendency to withdraw rather than make use of these experiences. The difficulty in starting something new because of the criticism that accompanied the old. So when we think about this, Think about the energy to start something. It's a it's a pressure. It's a spurt of energy to really get on with it. However, it isn't just a pipe dream. It's not building castles in the sky. If you're actually going to begin something that leads into the sacral, you've also got to be able to have the foundations of that thing. And this is where accumulation comes in. What have you got? in terms of the resources, in terms of the resources, if not financially, then in terms of your intelligence, in terms of your experience, in terms of your joy for whatever it is and the research you've done and, and your part in it. You've got to start from something that has already been successful in the past. It doesn't have to be yours. So, for example, when I started a magazine in, in the late 1980s uh, with very little money, I did have credit cards, but very little money and no experience in running a magazine. What did I do? First thing was, what is a magazine? Who do I know 
that knows about magazines. And I happen to know a designer. Uh, she came down to work with us to design the page and create a style. I never thought about a style. I just thought, well, I want to get all this information out to people. I want to help people. I want to uh, wake people up to the wonderful things that are in the mind, body, spirit realm. But she gave me the style. We, we then worked with the Apple computers and found someone who would take us through the typesetting rules, you know, how to make the page look good, what font to use, where to put the pictures or the photographs. You know, I had to look at other magazines that were already out there, not starting from scratch, starting from what was already out there, and then improve it and then make it better and then make it into something that reflected my values. So we started with that. You know, it took three years to even break even, but the energy of the sacral, and this is where the builder comes in, the energy of the sacral wants to do it. You know, it gets up in the morning, goes, okay, let's get on with the next thing because we're building something. We don't know if it's going to work. The only thing we know is that we've got a great deal of energy to get it going. Now, adrenalized energy doesn't continue all the time you know you'd wear yourself out there has to be the 42 on the other side the energy to finish it to finish that particular part of the project to then move on to the next and the next it's a cyclic energy that moves from one phase to another it's something that builds through the work finishing that part of the project, moving on to the next thing. It's the energy to be able to stay with something. The wonderful thing about generators is they do have the energy to keep on and keep on and keep on if they're loving it. If you're not loving it, forget it. If you haven't got the energy to go and find out what you need to begin it, then it's not going to work because you don't know. You have to find out. You have to model what you're doing on something that has already been successful to a certain point, except you're doing it your way now. But you are using what they've already uh, put out in front of you. You know, we, we looked at the adverts and the way the adverts were lined out in other magazines, you know, and priced each one. So we knew what we were doing to to be able to bring in support for making it work at a financial basis and how to get out to the people what mailing list do we need it at that time it was a mailing list now it would be i don't know youtube channels or whatever so it's really about following the response and then when the response is there for something rather than staying in the mind and thinking well it's a crazy idea and you speak to your friends and they go well you know you're not going to do that i mean that's not going to work you know rather than falling for the criticism rather than getting caught up perhaps in your open ego fears that you've got to make it really fantastic and you don't have the ability to do that a lot of a lot of generators get stopped because they try to over overshow spend too much money on the things that don't really matter because of their own lack of self esteem yeah, you've got to you've got to understand that each one of us is different and each one of us as generators is going to do it in our own particular way. We have certain gates. We have certain life forces. You know exactly how it's going to come out. We don't know till it's finished. Part of it, part of when we, when we did the first issue, it was, it was really, we planned out the pages. We'd worked on them. We worked day and night on them to get this, this together. But we didn't know it was going to work. When it came out, we then learned what we could have done better. And we improved upon it. We built upon it. You know, when you've had some success, you then have the latitude to be able to make it better and make it more efficient and listen to other people that know more than we do, you know, to be able to grow something. The whole thing about the experiential circuitry, the abstract circuitry, is that it does move upwards if you're going in the right direction it does take you into new cycles of experience where you get the experience and you do it better and hopefully 
if you stay at it long enough, if you want to stay at it long enough, if you're getting uh, feedback and reward for it, then this is something that can succeed. And this brings me to the other point of success and generators. Generators. You have to be rewarded for the energy you put out. A lot of generators will give and give and give. They give their energy to the those people around them, the non-sacrals around them, the ones that, that need the energy. They'll, there's some beautiful generators out here, but they get they get lost in putting their energy out for nothing, you know, and then resenting it. You have to be rewarded for what you put out. There has to be a payback for the life energy that you put out. That is the model that will succeed, both for you. I mean, if you're getting paid for something, you know, you want to kind of, oh, yeah, this is great. Now let's do some more. You know, it helps the quality of life. It helps the, the sense of your own value as well. So when I talk about building, I'm talking about you following your response looking to see what succeeded within the field of what you want to do, learning about that, and then going forward, finishing each part of the project as you go. You know, having, having the right kind of trust in yourself as well, I would say. Not listening to the failures of the past, not listening to your friends that have never done anything like this before not comparing yourself with the really, in my case, the really successful magazines that were already out there. No, it was about what I wanted it to do. The information was different and it was fascinating to me. You know, I'm an investigator. You know, to be able to look into this and look into that, listen to this spiritual person, go into this alternative technology, see what they're doing here, seeing what the techniques are for all kinds of inner growth learning about the uh, alternative uh, health methods. I found it fascinating. And that fascination and that curiosity and being able to build a platform where I could speak to the top people in the field. It took time, but it began with that energy to break out and do something that I really loved, to build it. So when we're talking about building, it can be building anything. You can love animals and want to open a cattery. Well, the first thing to do is to go and have a look at catteries. Speak to the people who are running it, finding out what the troubles can be, what the, what the beauties can be. Get a feel of it. Put yourself in that atmosphere. Put yourself in that frame of mind. And if it's growing, if the response grows in you, your energy is available for it. And that will bring success. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And if uh, if you want to know more about your design, there is a link to a free report you can get on from my website in the descriptions below. And if you like this, then please do like it and subscribe and share. I would very much appreciate that. OK, thank you. I will see you again very soon with something completely different. Bye for now.